Veterans are facing a new battle after being exposed to chemicals at war. The Action News Jack Sorena Inclan looked into the help they're getting here at home. Walk into Bob Dinkins home in St. John's County and you can tell he's very proud of his service in the Air Force and he should be. He was only 19 years old when he signed up to serve during the Vietnam War. He was a crew chief aboard a C-130 transports. We all the 55 gallon barrels of uh, toxin of Agent Orange. And it's that very cargo that made him sick. He developed cancer years after his service. I started getting uh, real tired, fatigued. Uh, my urine was foaming a lot. When he hears about younger veterans coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan getting cancer, it hits close to home. History repeats itself. According to the Miami Herald, which reviewed medical billing data from 2000 to 2018, the rate of cancer treatments for veterans at the VA increased 61% for urinary cancers. Dinkins, along with many other Vietnam era vets, are still receiving care from the VA. He says today the system is overwhelmed. It's the bureaucrats that cause all this problem. Because they have to vote for this and they have to vote for that. Many veterans want answers. Dinkins says not much is known about how the toxins our military men and women encounter during war affect their lives in the long run. Lorena Inclan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.